While Range Rovers fit for royalty are the most prestigious products from Britain's Land Rover, it's their rugged mid-size utilities that are most likely to be found in American driveways. Now to keep that loyalty, Land Rover routinely provides major upgrades. The step roof discovery gave way to the more rectangular LR3 for 2005. And now five years in, designers deemed it time for a new engine, new technology, new interior, and a new name, the Land Rover LR4. So let's see if all this change is a positive move. You may not notice much of a difference between the 2010 Land Rover LR4 and its predecessor. It retains the LR3 squared off step profile as well as general size. New styling cues are subtle, like a more upscale front end, smoothed out and brought closer to the top drawer Range Rover. Lighting gains the latest fashion, strips of LED daytime running lamps. The LR3's lone fender port gets a twin on the LR4. The only place the outgoing model's asymmetrical styling theme continues is the funky notch in the tailgate glass. Our Izmir Blue LR4 came shod with new 19 by 8 inch alloy wheels. 20 inches are optional. But there are bigger changes under the skin. Open the hood to a new all aluminum 5 liter V8 rated at 375 horsepower and 375 pound feet of torque. That's 25% more horses and 19% more torque than last year's 4.4 V8. The only transmission is an upgraded ZF 6 speed automatic with sport manual mode. We found it to be well matched to the Rover's added power. Shifts are smooth and satisfying. Off-roading is at the core of Land Rover DNA, and the LR4 is the most intrepid vehicle in the Land Rover's U.S. model range. Revisions to the sophisticated terrain response system provide a higher degree of versatility. Sand launch control is new, and rock crawl can now automatically apply the brakes in precarious low-speed situations. Our biggest complaints with the LR3 were slow shifts and a lack of power at the top end but the LR4's V8 is smooth and torquey across its entire power band. Zero to 60 is a fine 7.5 seconds, a half better than our last LR3. So there is ample power for broken lines and yellow lights and plenty of low end grunt for steep grades. The LR4's other notable mechanical bits include a multi-setting electronic air suspension, new chassis components and bigger brakes. Towing tops out at a capable 7,700 pounds. Our tester's heavy-duty package includes a locking rear diff for when things aren't going right and a full-size spare. We like the view from the LR4's airy cabin just fine, but the dash left quite a bit to be desired. For 2010, the center stack and console feature more ergonomically correct controls and much more pleasing styling. Soft-touch materials are everywhere, from the dash pad to the stitched multifunction steering wheel to the leather rim seats. Boulder seat contours make for a more comfortable cabin, too. Gauges remain large and clear under a deep hood to protect from glare. Our HSE Plus adds satellite navigation along with three-row, seven-passenger seating. We like the raised position of the second-row split bench, although there could be more legroom. The third row, however, is hard to get to and really only suitable for small children. One of the design features that gives the LR4 such off-road prowess is a short rear overhang, but that also limits luggage space. Open the split hatch for only 9.9 .9 cubic feet behind the third seat. Fold it down for a more respectable 42.1 cubic feet with a class competitive 90.3 after all seats are down. Less respectable are government fuel economy ratings of only 12 city and 17 highway on premium gas. The new V8 turns out to be just as thirsty as the old one. But according to Land Rover, tailpipe emissions now meet ULEV 2 regulations. Still, the LR4's energy impact score is very high. 24.5 barrels of oil consumed annually, and it leaves a 13.1 ton carbon footprint wherever it goes. Those numbers are the same as the Mercedes-Benz GL550, which doesn't soften the environmental blow at all. Yet, given all its attributes and luxury, the base LR4 is well-priced at $48,100.
That's over 35 grand less than the GL 550. Even the higher featured HSE at $51,750 and top shelf Lux at $57,665 look good by that measure. Land Rover's new 5-liter V8 is a much better match for the LR4's mass. And for 2010, terrain response is a good thing made better. That plus a host of other improvements really do make the LR4 worthy of a new name despite appearances. The LR4 upholds the Land Rover heritage well, adding more refinement and comfort without losing any of its off-road moves.